This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So last week, during our Instant Deck Tags, it was our Fishbowl Thursday option. We're kind of on a string of Fishbowl Thursday options winning, but it was our Fishbowl Thursday option that came out on top, which means today we are heading to Modern to play Modern Lands, kind of this weird sort of of graveyardy seismic assault life of the loam burning vengeance craziness combo deck so we're gonna give it a shot see if this deck can actually compete and like usual gonna do a super quick two minute refresher deck deck if you want a full breakdown make sure to check out the instant deck deck where we go on at length about the deck anyway a quick reminder before we break down modern lands if you enjoy this deck and you enjoy much of brew in general it would be so sweet of you if you could take a second click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen it's a great way to support the channel and the site for free so modern lands is kind of this weird combo-ish deck with the flame of cal so flame of cal it's mostly in our deck because well it's good in general we empty iron quickly drawing cards really helpful but the third lore counter offers a ton of explosion by putting two extra damage on all of our red sources so our main way of killing our opponent is throwing lands at their face with molten vortex seismic assault which is normally two damage but if we can time it where we have that third lore counter it's going to be four damage for each land which means just five lands is lethal plus these cards can keep the board clean which is nice life from the loam make sure we always have a bunch of lands to throw at our opponent's face just keep dredging it back getting the lands back from our deck that's three lands a turn six damage a turn divided any way we want once we get it set up our second combo is flame jab the one mana retrace burn spell along with burning vengeance so if we can get a burning vengeance out and get a flame jab each land that we discard is basically three damage even more than seismic assault and it gets super crazy with that flame of the cow lore counter because flame jab goes from one damage up to three damage and then burning vengeance whenever we can spells from our graveyard two damage that goes from two damage up to four damage so for a single mana and discarding a single land we're getting seven damage if we flame jab with Burning Vengeance out with that third lore counter from the Flame of the Cow, which means just three casts of Flame Jab gonna kill our opponent from 20, which is insane. Otherwise, Faithless Looting churns us through our deck, some rituals to make sure we can cast our stuff fast, Blood Moon, because, I mean, it's Blood Moon. Why not? Otherwise, Mana Base, Raging Ravine backup, Wind Con, Ghost Quarter, we can grind our opponent out with life from the loam detection towers so we can activate our seismic assaults and burning vengeances even through things like leyline of sanctity some fetch lands some shock lands a graven care and some basic lands in the sideboard we get nature's claim and ancient grudge to deal with graveyard hate primarily which is brutal against our deck more blood moons and choke Leyline of the Void for Graveyard decks, a Dragon's Claw to gain some life against Burn, and that is Modern Lands, and that's our bunch of brew deck for this week. So, anyway, let's jump into the gameplay, see if this crazy concoction can actually compete. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Alright, much brew about nothing time, we are playing, ooh boy, alright, we are playing some lands in modern uh, we're gonna keep this we really need a loam we have our seismic assault we need we need a loam and this hand's great or any of our card draw stuff so let's wooded foothills pass the turn since we have seismic assault we don't really need to rush out molten vortex inquisition y'all well pony has options they can take one of our two enchantments, but we're still going to get one down. So now we need uh, we need life from the loam, we need faithless looting, we need uh, flame of Keld, anything that can churn us through our deck with the seismic assault or molten vortex. Takes molten vortex, okay. Well, crack wooded foothills. Grab a let's get our forest in case we draw blood moon get our forest untap now well, let's flame of the keld so play the mountain desperate ritual seismic assault pass the dirt unfortunately this is all we have at the moment 
Next turn, we'll definitely play McKelb, just to draw some cards. Opponent. Catacombs. Cracks it. Overgrown Tomb. Man, Blood Moon would be so good against our opponent's deck at the moment. Abrupt Decay. Hmm. All right. Well, that's annoying. Opponent. Passes. Mountain. Well, play the Mountain. Yeah, flame Jab our opponent. Play Flame McKeld. Pass the turn. Oh, man, if they have another Abrupt Decay, oh, that's so bad. Uh, we would like that to not happen. Opponent. What do you got? Oh. Oh. Oh, this is a... This is a lot different than I was thinking. Glistener Elf. Well, we get to draw some cards. There's a Loam. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. Well, let's... Flame Jab, Glistener Elf. Okay, Mutagenic Growth. Well, he could just be dead. Let's loan back Wooded Foothills. Play Wooded Foothills. Pass the dirt. Well, we'll see. Man, we should be good at shooting down random creatures. It is kind of what our deck's trying to do, but the protection spells. Well, let's see if we're dead. Step one. Inquisition. Well, we're probably not dead. Gonna take our Burning Vengeance. Yup. And... Might of Old Grosa. Well, this is okay. This... Well, we'll see. If our opponent doesn't have a land, this means we should be able to kill this Glistener Elf. Alright, Crack Wooded Foothills. Grab a Stomping Grounds. Tapped. Untap. Dredge Loam. Do we hit some lands? We hit a land. Ooh, and a Faithless Looting. All right. So Flame of the Cow does its thing. We will loan back a couple lands. Flame Jab Glistener Elf. Play Wooded Foothills. Pass the turn. We do need to find another finisher. Just, just Flame Jab is a slow way of doing it. But it should be good at keeping random infect dorks in check. Ink Moth. Well, less good. Opponent. Passing. Well, Crack Wooded Foothills. Grab a Stomping Grounds. Yup. Untap. Dredge Loam. Loam back some lands. Faithless looting. No dredging. Oh, Blood Moon. Well, discard Raging Ravine. Discard Windswept Teeth. Play Wooded Foothills. Uh, we'll see. We could easily just be dead to this Ink Moth. Ink Moth in one pump spell. Uh, the Blood Moon a bit too late. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. We might not be. Unfortunately, Flame Jab is sorcery speed. Oh man, if it was instant, that would be so good. Ink Moth, are we dead? We are dead. All right. Well, they resolved two pump spells, and that was enough. Yikes. This feels like this should be sort of our dream matchup. <laughs> oh, it really does. Well, we're bringing in two more Blood Moons which seem really good against our opponent's deck. Wow, that was a sad loss. Um, Go down. What are we cutting? Hmm. We might need to bring in our graveyard protection stuff as well, nature's claims, at least some. I guess they also can kill an ink moth. Let's go down a burning vengeance. Let's go down a Burning Vengeance. One Flame Jab. Let's go three Nature's Claims. And cut two Desperate Rituals. 
All right, try it like that. We'll see. We will see. It seems like an early Blood Moon should be pretty good, at least from what we saw in game one. Oh, in fact, in fact, in fact. I mean, we have six finishers. The other problem is something like Surgical on Life from the Loam, that's pretty bad for us. All right, we get to play first. Well, okay. Technically, we have turn two Blood Moon. We'll see if if it resolves. Well, if it's still in our hand, I guess. If our opponent doesn't have discard, it should be really good. All right, opponent's going to six. Now, play the mountain. Faithless looting. Discard loam. Discard detection. Hmm. Detection tower. Pass the turn. The downside is we only have a single forest. So once we blood moon, it might take us a minute to be able to actually do things. All right. Well, there's surgical on loam. Well, I guess our one forest is is no longer a concern. Uh, Surgical's really good against our deck. Very, very good. Well, now we're going to have to try to win the the old-fashioned way, which is not easy. One land at a time. Well, now we're just hoping like crazy our opponent does not have a discard spell. Now that they know about the Blood Moon, it probably is a little bit less effective. Because our opponent can just get a basic, which makes Blood Moon worse. Opponent. Mm, Blooming Marsh. And passes. Well, okay. Um, oh, watch them have an answer. Play Ghost Quarter. Simeon Spirit Guide. Blood Moon. Pass the turn. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a weird game. Vote it. Ink Moth. Probably better known as a mountain. Hmm. I'll play Stomping Grounds. Play Faithless Looting. Discard... Flame of Keld and Graven Karens. Two Flame of Kelds doesn't really do much, since we have to discard one to the other. There's no way to get both down. Opponent untaps. No basic. All right, Blooming Marsh, and passes. Hmm. I guess we might as well double up on the Blood Moons. Blood Moon wins up teeth. Go. Opponent passing. We need a finisher. Okay, there's burning. That's good. So play the mountain. Play burning vengeance. Play flame McKeld. Pass the turn. So now we get to draw some cards. And all we need is like a flame jab. And we can really, really start doing some damage. Opponent passing. All right, we draw three. So that means spirit guide. <laughs> All right. Spirit Guide Tron. Well, I guess we're going... <laughs> Since we're about to get the last lore counter, we might as well run out... <laughs> All the Spirit Guides. They are dealing plus two at least. Opponent, discard the hand size. Raging Ravine. Well, go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent for eight. We're going to start holding on to lands now, because we want lands in hand if we find any of our land payoffs. Opponent. Can you use red mana? All right, opponent scoops it up. We got there. Huh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, I guess that's how you win through a surgical. Uh, well, if surgical's our main graveyard hate, let's go down nature's claim, go back up a flame jab. Maybe we're just not going to worry about nature's claim. Dragon's Claw, not relevant. Yeah, all right, no nature's claims. Well, let's leave one. Let's leave one just as a, a tiny little hedge. Run it back. Well, I mean, the deck's kind of working. It's doing cool thing. All right. I mean, Flame Jab is very good against our opponent. Our mana's a bit awkward with this Seismic Assault, but Flame Jab does deal with a lot of their stuff. Ooh, opponent's going to four. They must really want Graveyard Hate. Well, uh, that gives me a tiny bit of confidence. Blooming Marsh, opponent, passes. We also have the Ghost Quarter to deal with Ink Moth. Uh, Raging Ravine, you. Now we're just hoping to get down this Seismic Assault, mostly. Opponent, 
Ooh, one land. Okay. Passes. Well, Wooded Foothills. Go. So Seismic Assault's coming down next turn. Opponent. Passing. Well, crack Wooded Foothills. Grab a Stomping Grounds. Tapped. Untap. Play the Mountain. And yeah, we're just going to run out Seismic Assault. Pass the turn. We don't have a way to kill our opponent quite. Opponent untaps. Inquisition. All right. Flame, flame jab, flame of Keld. Oh, we'd love a loam. If we find a loam, all of a sudden things are sweet. I mean, I'm sure they just take flame of Keld, yeah. Opponent passes. I'll play Wooded Foothills. Pass the turn. I think we want to get up enough enough lands that we can attack with Raging Ravine, and then we'll stop playing lands. Opponent. Passing. And Wooded Foothills lets us thin our deck. Grab a mountain. Untap. Spirit Guide. Now play Ghost Quarter. Monkey Beats. It worked last time. Cast Simeon Spirit Guide. Pass the turn. Wouldn't mind our opponent tapping out before we Raging Ravine. All right, opponent finds a land. Catacombs. Cracks it. Forest. Playing around those Blood Moons. Well, until they can deal with Seismic Assault, we should be able to just mow down their creatures. Opponent. Abrupt Decay's Seismic Assault. Hmm. Well, discard. 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 So, opponent down to 13. Yup. And passes. Ooh, there's our loam too. Hmm. <laughs> we could just ghost quarter. I mean, I think the smartest play is just fire up raging ravine. Yeah, fire up raging ravine. Hit our opponent. I mean, this puts our opponent under a ton of pressure. Because they take six, so technically they're dead on board next turn if we fire up raging ravine. Opponent. Two mana. Plague Stinger. Opponent passes. Loom. Hmm. So if we attack. Opponent, they probably have to chump. Yeah, I think we just attack. So if we attack. Mutagenic Growth, they gotta block Raging Ravine. Yeah. Fire up Raging Ravine. Go to combat. Swing. So if our opponent has to mutagenic growth, that costs two life. So five from Raging Ravine is lethal. So they they can't just block here, mutagenic growth, and then kill us. I was wondering if we needed to, like, flame jab, loam, flame jab, flame jab to play through mutagenic growth. But I think this, I think this is the best plan. It should make it, it should just win us the game, really. Opponent. Blocks. Okay. I mean, I guess if they have double mutagenic growth, they kill our Raging Ravine and go to one, but... Alright. Opponent jumps. Well, we just pass. Opponent's down to five. And I think we got there. I mean, we were aided, and our opponent scoops it up. Alright. Whew. Well, I mean, that was a pretty good example of our deck in action. It was a close match, and our opponent, they did mulligan a lot in game three, but all right, uh, lands, doing their thing, even winning through surgical. Sweet. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are playing some modern lands, and, well, okay. We have a Molten Vortex. We're missing... Uh, we're missing a loam and also green mana but we're gonna keep this worst case we should be able to uh, it really depends on the matchup ideally this molten vortex can keep things under control while we're looking for loam action faithless lootings etc well that's our opponent up to uh, mountain goblin guide well, okay, we'll see. We'll see. Opponent gets in. There's our green mana. Opponent passes. Whoa. Ritual. 
I'll play the mountain, play Molten Vortex. <laughs> so we can keep the Goblin Guide stuff in check. Maybe they're playing... I like this mountain. That's a sweet mountain. Invasion. Um, Maybe they're playing goblins. That would be good. The problem with burn is we can kill all the creatures, but I'm not sure how we survive burn spells. We don't really have any life gain. I guess after sideboarding, we can bring in another goblin guide. We can bring in nature's claim. And lava spike. All right, down to 15. Opponent going to go attacking. We are going to spirit guide, kill a goblin guide. Opponent gets in. Top card. Flame jab. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Well, Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Molen Vortex. Kill a Goblin Guide. Yep. Drop to 13. Play Raging Ravine. Pass the turn. We are going to run out of lands if we don't find a Loam at some point. But we should be able to... Uh, mostly take care of the creatures. Goblin guide can't... Oh my god, another one. So many guides. All right, opponent attacks. Hitting a land or two here would be really helpful. Top card. Mountain. Top card. Mountain. Okay. Well, Molen Vortex, a goblin guide. We drop to 11. Yup. Opponent passes. The wind swept teeth. I'll play the mountain. Desperate ritual. Burning vengeance. Pass the turn. All right, all right, all right. We can kill the creatures. No bird spells. Just let's, let's just uh, draw all creatures so we can kill them. At some point, we're going to have to start going face. But we're going to run out of action without a loam. <laughs> and we got we to gotta get this clock quick because of all the burn spells our opponent will draw. Hopefully, they have like three Eidolon of the Great Revels in hand. That would be the best. Opponent. Attacks. Top card. Flame of the Keld. Hmm. Okay. That might help. Well... Molen Vortex. Discard Windswept Eve. Kill Goblin Guide. Stay at 11. Opponent. Four cards in hand. Oh, it's an Eidolon. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. So we draw Flame of Keld. We Molen Vortex the Eidolon. We play the land. We Flame Jab our opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Down to 19. <laughs> Play Flame Geld. And we pass the turn. All right. Come on, lands. We can deal a lot of damage when this Flame Geld goes ultimate. We really could use a Loam off this. If we can hit a Loam off of this Flame of Geld and we're not dead, then I think we can win. We can just get the combo kill. Opponent passing. All right, big draws. Give us a Loam. Draw one. Mountain. Detection Tower Stomping Grounds. <laughs> All right. Pass the turn. Opponent. <laughs> uh, Boros Charm to seven. Oh, come on. Give us one more turn. One more turn. Opponent passes. Oh, my God. Are we going to win? Burning Vengeance. Red Source deals damage, blah, blah, blah. So Flame Jab is three, and this is four, so seven, 14, 21. All right. Uh, Flame Jab you, discard Stomping Grounds. Burning Vengeance you. Is this going to work? The Combo Kill? Flame Jab you, discard Detection Tower. Burning Vengeance you. Seven more. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we're just going to deal 21 damage with Flame Jab three times. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Found it. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, and now we lose. Oh no, we needed one more land. Opponent survives at one. Oh no. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, ah, uh, we saw the combo. Our opponent just happened to have lightning helix. I don't think we could have. I don't think we could have played that any differently. That was the only way we could play it. If this had been a land instead of another Burning Vengeance, we could have spent our turn playing Ver Burning Vengeance, but that would change things. Play Burning Vengeance, play a land. Discard two things to Flame Jab would be 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, did we punt? We might have punted. Maybe we should have... I just thought we had the game. Hmm. Yeah, I guess... Maybe we punted that away. I'm probably going to uh, going to get yelled at. Ha! Huh. All right, well, that was a close game. I guess we should have... I just didn't think we needed to. I thought we just had the win with the normal combo. But we could have played Detection Tower. Played Burning Vengeance. Went twice with Flame Jab. For... 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19... 20, 21, 22? Really? That's exactly one additional damage? No. 8, 16. Hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> Am I doing that math properly? Did we really lose by exactly one point of damage by not playing this? Well, I guess we should have done the math beforehand. I just thought we had the win. So we dealt 3, 6, 9 plus 12 so we'd out 21 damage if we played this burning vengeance it would have been 4 8 12 16 17 18 9 oh my god it is <laughs> it was exactly one more damage <laughs> all right well okay uh yeah i guess that's a pun i just didn't count it i just assumed that we i just assumed that we had the win all locked up um, well, we're going to bring in Nature's Claims, and we're going to bring in Dragon's Claw. We only have a couple Dragon's Claws. Go down the Blood Moons. I don't think they are good enough. And then go down, I guess, some Simeon Spirit Guides. And, yeah, try it like that. Wow! <laughs> Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. All right, we get to play first. Well, okay. We got a loan, we got a Molten Vortex. We can keep the creatures in check. Found it. Yep, going to six. Now, Stomping Grounds tapped. Pass the turn. Man, I can't believe we that was a pun. <laughs> All right, found it. <laughs> oh boy I'm envisioning the YouTube comments about it yeah. Goblin Guide sure yeah it's in top card is a land alright so we drop to 18 play the mountain play Molten Vortex pass the dirt opponent Bloodstained Mire cracks it stomping grounds untapped all right, gonna kill our Molten Vortex. Well, we will kill your Goblin Guide. We also take two, down to 16. Opponent, passing. I'll play Windswept Teeth, crack Windswept Teeth. Get his Nomping Rounds, tapped. Loam. Get back a couple lands. Pass the turn. So hopefully we dredge over some of our graveyard stuff. Arid Mesa. Cracks it. Mountain. So Wipspia. And Boros Charm. <laughs> okay. Down to 11, down to 9. 
Well, this is a big dredge. We need to hit a flame jab, basically. So we untap dredge loam. We did not hit a flame jab. Hmm. We might have to play a chump blocking Simeon Spirit Guide. Play Windswept Eve. Crack Windswept Eve. Get our forest. Desperate Ritual. Simeon Spirit Guide. Loam back a couple lands. Pass the turn. Uh, all right. What do you got about it? Bloodstained Mire. Burning Vengeance is weird. I wonder if this deck would be better if we just played more Seismic Assaults. Like, I think some Burning Vengeance is okay. And it would have won as game one if we actually counted. Opponent. Three mana. Rift Bolt. Hardcast. Yup, down to five. Opponent. Attacks. Well, we will block. Stay at five. Opponent passes. Dredge loam. Faithless looting. Ugh. We don't have the mana for it. Ugh. All right, play a mountain. Play burning vengeance. Pass the turn. Ugh, I think we're dead. Well, this is one of the changes we made from the instant deck tech build was taking some of the dragon's claws out of the sideboard and replacing them with graveyard hate. We still have one, but this is the one matchup. I think graveyard hate is much more important in general, but this is the one matchup where not having dragon's egg is, or dragon's claw is pretty painful. Down to four. Opponent. Eidolon. Yeah, it makes it hard. Well, Dredge Loam. Faithless Looting. Kill Eidolon. Draw Discard. Now well, there's our Flame Jab. Discard Loam. Discard Flame Jab. Flame Jab our opponent. Kill Swift Spear. Yeah, I mean, we just gotta hope they have literally nothing. Life from the Loam. Get back the lands. If our opponent whiffs his turn, we have lethal for next turn. Nothing. No burn. No burn. Lightning Bolt. Man. Well, for being a really awkward matchup, uh, we were super close. Game one, we should have won. In this game, if our opponent whiffed on one draw step, we would have won. We had... We play this Burning Vengeance, and we have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15? There's a lot of damage there. So, well, interesting. Interesting, interesting. I guess a lesson from this one is uh, do the math with the Burning Vengeances and the Flame Accounts, because that definitely cost us in game one. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some lands in modern and i mean i guess we keep this flame jab a little matchup dependent but we can just discard them to faithless looting and wait till we have a burning inquiry so i think we're fine to keep this hand yeah we're gonna keep it plus i mean there's a chance we just faithless looting into a ritual and get a blood moon on turn two and that can jank people out loom well windswept teeth Crack it. Grab a stomping grounds. Untapped. Looting. Um. Alright, discard. Flame jab and Graven Karens. Pass the turn. So next turn we can just loam back all of our lands. Get a forest, loam back our lands, and set up for turn three Blood Moon. And hopefully eventually find a way to kill things. Alright, Blooming Marsh. We could still draw a Ritual. Mountain. Well, Wooded Foothills. Crack it. Grab a Forest. Loam back some lands. Pass the turn. Discard. 
Eh, I think Raven Karens. All right, no basics. No basics. Blood Moon just to wreck ya. We kind of want to hold on to the Flame Jab in case our opponent plays Tireless Tracker type creature. Then Flame Jab, Retrace, Triple. Oh man. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's just draw naturally. Molten Vortex. Huh. Blood Moon will probably die. Let's Faithless Looting. We're gonna wait on Blood Moon. I'm expecting. Okay, Burning Vengeance is good. And Desperate Ritual. Discard Flame Jab. Discard a Fetch Land. Wooded Foothills. Crack it. Grab a Mountain. Ritual. Burning Vengeance. Pass the turn. I'm expecting Assassin's Trophy or Abrupt Decay. Or maybe our opponent's just super mana screwed and we should have run out Blood Moon. <laughs> That's the other possibility. Uh, the hand's looking decent, the opponent. All right, there's a tireless tracker. Land for a clue. Well, this is good news. Now, oh man, this is perfect news. So, no dread. Hmm, huh. Actually, well, play the mountain. Play the blood moon. Play the molten vortex. Pass the turn. So we are going to take a hit from the tireless tracker, but we can kill it next turn. Swamp! Opponent. That's not fair. You were not supposed to be able to play magic. Cracks the clue. Watch them actually be jund, and we're helping them. Inquisition... Yeah, that's that's fine. Inquisition's not doing much here. Sure. Cracks the clue. Yep, 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 yep. Well, we're taking five, but then we will get to kill this tracker. So we drop to 10, we dredge low. We loan back three lands. We flame jab our opponent. Discard a fetch land. Hit tracker. Flame jab our opponent. Discard the mountain. Hit tracker. Play the mountain. Pass the turn. I mean, now with the Blood Moon down, we should be able to just more or less do this until our opponent dies. Unless they're playing some, like, sneaky main deck graveyard hate. We should. This is kind of how we're imagining it, though. Opponent, mountain. Passes. Well, dredge loam. Loam back some lands. Faithless looting. Hit our opponent. Um, no dredge. Yeah, let's dredge. Discard a couple lands. Play a mountain. Pass the turn. Hissing Quagmire. Yeah, this Blood Moon's just <laughs> ruling the day. Now, Molten Vortex, our opponent's face. Untap. And yeah, Dredge Loam. Loam back some lands. Flame Jab our opponent. Discard a land. An opponent scoops it up. All right. That's exactly the way we can win games with this deck. Slow it down with Blood Moon. Finish him off with our... <laughs> Ejectments. All right, so bring in the other two Blood Moons. And we probably need a couple of nature's claims for graveyard hate. Although surgical might be the bigger issue. I think we're going to go down two burning vengeance, two desperate rituals. Run it like that. Well, we got a plan. Blood moon him into submission. Hmm. Okay. Eh, this sand doesn't have much. Loam and flame jab. I think we're going to ship it. It just doesn't. Ugh. Now for a zero lander. Zero lands at our 26 land deck is impressive. All right, well, uh, flame jab. Okay, I guess we'll we'll keep it. It can deal with like a dark confinant. Opponent plays a tap land. Well, what did foothills go? Verdant catacombs. Well, crack wooded foothills. Grab a forest. Untap. Play the mountain. Loam back wooded foothills. Pass the turn. Let's see how much mana our opponent's gonna have to work with. Forest. All right, so we're not going to just hard lock our opponent. They're more prepared for the Blood Moon, and they're on the play, which gives them an extra turn of preparation. Opponent. Inquisition. Well, good news is we got two Blood Moons. <laughs> That's a, a good attempt, opponent. A good attempt, I will say. Bad news for you is <laughs> oh, we got our mismatched Blood Moons. <laughs> uh, every time we... Every time we play Blood Moon, it's got to go with the mismatch. Opponent's thinking, I mean, what are your options? Takes Flame Jab. Plays Vern Catacomb. Okay. I mean, I guess they can just get a land? So they can have one one mana of each color. Opponent cracks. Scavenging you. Uh, all right. Well, Dredge Low. Play Graven Karens. Play Blood Moon. Pass the turn. Opponent. Gonna eat our Flame Jab. Ugh, Tassiger. That's not good. Opponent gets it. Huh. Well, now we're probably in trouble. Because we don't really have a way to deal with Tassiger. Ugh. Discard two lands. Loan back our lands. 
Play windswept teeth, pass the turn. Opponent. Yeah, gets it. Uh, it's gonna be hard to gonna be hard to get out of this. Down to eleven. It's a loam. What can we draw here? Burning vengeance. Play wooded foothills. Yeah, I guess we can play burning vengeance, but I think we're we're probably dead. Pass the turn. Opponent. Goes to combat. Yeah. Gets in. We drop to five. Tarmogoyf. Yeah. Blooming Marsh. All right, so Faithless Looting. Kill Ooze. <laughs> Nature's Claim, hey? Um, ugh, this doesn't do it. Yeah, all right, we're... We're just dead. We might be able to stay alive for one turn by nature's claiming our own thing, but doesn't seem likely to work. Um, yeah, I guess we just run it back. Yeah, okay. I mean, this looks pretty good. If we can dodge discard, we have turn to blood moon, which seems reasonable. Uh, yeah, well, we'll give this a shot. All right, so stomping grounds, faithless looting. Oh, yeah, get rid of these two lame jabs. All right, let's see if we dodge this card. We really want this Blood Moon. Oh, this hand. <sighs> Come on, no thoughtsies, no Inquisition. All right, well, there goes our Blood Moon. I guess uh, this is okay. I mean, Blood Moon is a little awkward because we're not going to have green mana, so we can't loam. Uh, it's still so good against our opponent's deck, so. Well, all right, let's see. More spirit guides. <sighs> well, let's looting. See what we find. Oh, huh. Okay. Well, I guess this works. Uh, it's all we got, but we found our blood moon again. Yeah, discard the loams. This game might be a little bit awkward. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, we're going to be empty handed, but it's worth it, I think. Spirit guide, spirit guide, blood moon on turn two. And uh, that's what we got. That's it. <laughs> Is it good enough? We're about to find out. So our opponent... Oh, all right, mountain. So we can't dredge here. We need our forest. We we can't risk dredging our forest because we only have a single forest. And if we draw the single forest, or if we mill the single forest uh, with dredge, then we can never loam. So we have to not loam until we find our forest somehow. So, uh, all right. We're going to start holding on to lands, I think, for Faithless Looting and so forth. I mean, our opponent's not doing anything either. They're somehow doing even more nothing than us. Come on, Forest. Seismic Assault. Uh, yeah. Hmm. We can looting. I don't know if it's worth it. We can just Seismic Assault. It's really all about the Forest. We, that's what we got to maximize. I think we wait on looting. Getting down Seismic Assault does have value. In case our opponent somehow goes like Swamp Dark Confidant or something. So let's just Seismic Assault. Pass the turn. Next turn, hopefully we can start looting. Opponent. Uh, nothing. Nothing to do with their mountains. Passes. Forest. No dredge. Mountain. Well, now we're definitely looting. Oh, come on, forest. No dredge. No dredge. Mountain. <laughs> oh, man, we're so lucky. All right. Uh, well, there's our one forest, which means... Now we should be pretty much set to win this game. Now we can start loaming and just start throwing lands at our opponent's face. Ooh. All right, there's a swamp. Thoughtseize. <laughs> it's like a free seismic assault. <laughs> Found it passes. Well, now our opponent's got to find like a surgical or something. Dredge loam. Get back lands. And we're just going to do this for the rest of the game. It's only going to take like three turns. So get back our lands. Pass the turn. No reason to do anything main phase. Pwn it. Swamp number two. Well, second swamp's better than first forest, I think. Since two swamps cannot kill a blood moon. Bonnet. Huh. So we have eight damage right here. Yeah, we're we're three turns. I guess if we draw land, we win. Well, no, we're loaming, so. All right, yeah, we're, it takes this turn and two more turns. Liliana. Yeah, whatever. Takes up. All right. We're just going to throw our entire hand at our opponent's face with Seismic Assault. So, Seismic Assault down to 14. Seismic Assault, 12. Seismic Assault, 10. This is better than discarding a land to Liliana. And now our opponent, now our opponent just makes themselves discard. So, sweet. Yeah, opponent's got a discard. <laughs> got themselves. Yup. Discard the Tarmogoyf. Uncastable Goyf. Well, get back Loam. Get back Lands. And, yeah, I mean, this should do it. 
Pass the turn. Six damage in hand, so our opponent's gotta draw a surgical this turn. And even if they draw a surgical, all right, Kalidus, that's fine. Even if they draw a surgical, all we need to do is top deck a land. Opponent passes. Well, yep, yeah, to the face. Six, to the face. Four, and two. And yeah, unless they got something sneaky, this should do it. Get back our loam. Loam back some lands, doesn't matter which ones. And one more seismic assault. Go into the face, go into the face. Who? All right. Well, uh, I guess we saw the power of our deck. Also the power of <laughs> Flood Moon. Flood Moon. <laughs> well, sweet. I mean, we'll take it. Sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some lands in standard, and this hand looks reasonable. I mean, we have a faithless looting or two. We have a payoff. We got a life from the loam. This is pretty much what we want, give or take. So, let's what it fails. Crack it. Take a mountain. Looting. Discard. Two lands. Pass the turn. Opponent. Aired Mesa. Cracks it. Mountain. And Bomat Courier. Hmm. Interesting. Opponent. Gets in. Yup. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Down to 18. Could use a flame jab. Flame jab would be nice. Opponent passes. Hmm. All right, let's just forest. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Play Burning Vengeance. This lets us looting next turn to kill Bomat Courier. Mountain. Opponent has a lot of burn spells, I would assume. Bomat Courier, part two. And, oh boy. Well, at least it's not a kicked bushwhacker. Opponent. Gets in for two. Yeah, down to 16. Well, we can start mowing down creatures. Flame Jab's so sweet if we find it. Burning Vengeance. Ooh. All right, well, we're going to just a Faithless Looting. Kill a Bomb at Courier. Discard Loam. Discard Looting. Pass the turn. Our opponent must be setting up for another Bushwhacker for this turn. Mountain. Fanatical Firebrand. Ugh. Yeah, this makes the first Bushwhacker make a little bit more sense. It's a lot of things to kill. Man, Flame Jab. Flame Jab just absolutely owns this deck. But unfortunately, we're not finding it. Opponent gets in for eight. Yeah, they are down to two cards. Uh-huh. Opponent passes. Yeah, let's dredge loam. Ooh, there's a Flame Jab. Okay. Well, that gives us hope. Now we get to loan back three lands, play the mountain, flame jab Bomat Courier. That's exactly what we needed to have happen. Kill a Bushwhacker. So this is ba <laughs> basically just uh, Wrath of Flame Jab. Kill Fanatical Firebrand. Kill Bushwhacker. All right. I mean, Pona's got two cards in hand, but the board is temporarily clear. Pona passes. Come on. No big, no big damage. No burn spells. Burning tree. Oh, is this burning tree into bushwhacker number million? Oh, it is. So many bushwhackers. Okay. Man, this puts us dead to lightning bolt. The third whack is apparently the one that's going to get us. Down to three. Opponent passes. Well, dredge loam. Cast, cast loam. Get back three lands. Flame Jab. Discard Stomping Ground. Kill Burning Tree Emissary. Flame Jab. Hit our opponent. Down to 16. Play Raging Ravine. Pass the turn. All right. What's your last cards? Two cards. Oh. <laughs> Bushwhacker number four. No. Uh, Flame of the Keld. Okay. Huh. Opponent passes. Oh, Dredge Loam. Loam back three lands. Flame jab bushwhacker. Discard detection tower. Hit our opponent. Flame jab our opponent. Discard wooded foothills. Down to 11. Flame jab our opponent. Discard windswept teeth. Down to eight. All right, well, this is it. If, if our opponent can't kill us here, we win. We win next turn, pretty much guaranteed, but our opponent gets to draw three cards, and we're dead to a single lightning bolt. They have used a high percentage of bushwhackers. Oh, did they draw it? 
Do we get a whip? Uh, stop it. Oh, stomping grounds. That's a different color of mana. Tapped. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, gut shot. If we get, if we lose a gut shot, reckless bushwhacker to one. Oh goodness, did we get there? Oh wow! All right, dredge loam. Oh my goodness! All right, well, <laughs> oh, our opponent drew a million wax and we still survive somehow. Uh, bad news is we don't really have a we don't have anything to really bring in. I guess we can bring in a Dragon's Claw and go down a Simeon Spirit Guide, but I mean, our plan... Oh, we can't even play Blood Moons. Blood Moons are not good. Hmm. Well, I guess we're bringing in a Nature's Claim. <laughs> we can blow up one of our own things to gain life if we need to. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, I, I think we got a bit lucky. <sighs> I thought we were dead for sure. I think that might be the most whack someone has ever cast against me without winning. <laughs> what, they cast five bushwhackers that game and we somehow live? <laughs> That's not something that happens very often. Uh, all right, opponent's on the play. Well, I mean, worst case, we broke serve, so we get to be on the playing game three, which seems pretty helpful. We have sub cards that are just insanely good against our opponent's deck, like Flame Jab. Hmm. All right, we're going to keep this. Basically, we can ritual out the Seismic Assault and then play Flame Akel. That's the plan anyway. Legion Loyalist. Yup. Opponent gets in for one. Man, Simeon Spear Guide would be sweet. Turn one Seismic Assault. Kill your stuff. Spear Guide? Flame Jab. Hmm. Well, Windswept Teeth. Crack it. Stomping Ground. Down to 16. Flame Jab, Legion Loyalist. Pass the that was a bit painful to get our mana, but what do you got, opponent? Drawing a land would be nice. Drawing a land would mean we could kill two things this turn. Goblin Guide. That might help. And Mog Fanatic. Yup. Well, come on, land off Goblin Guide. Opponent. Gets it. Seismic Assault. Hmm. Okay. Well, untap. Play Ghost Quarter. Desperate Ritual. Seismic Assault. Pass the turn. I mean, we're at a fairly healthy 14. But when the bushwhackers start coming, things become sketchier. Oh, dear. That's not what we wanted to see. Bush, uh, burning tree. Destructive revelry. Hmm. Well, discard the land. Kill burning tree. We really would like a land off this goblin guide. Phone gets it. Uh, burning vengeance. Hmm. Well, now we're not running severely well. Desperate ritual. Seismic Assault. Yeah, not hitting any lands off these Goblin Guides. <laughs> Where's all of our lands? We're a, we have 26 lands in this deck. Bonet, two mana. Bushwhacker. Well, it would be a good time to hit a land off Goblin Guide. <laughs> very, very good time. Attacks. Land? No. All right. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one. Yeah, we can't win now. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Not doing a good job hitting our lands. Well, good news, we won game one, which means we're running it back and we're on the play. And that's where we want to be against this deck. We just gotta just gotta keep the board clean. It's that simple and that easy. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, so we get to play first. Hmm. Alright, we'll keep it. Well, play mountain, faithless looting. Discard Ritual. Discard Ritual. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. There's Goblin Guide. Come on. So one of these Goblin Guides has got to give us a land. Not this one. Simeon Spirit Guide. All right. So we drop to 18. Opponent passes. Well, Exile Spirit Guide. Play the Mountain. Play Burning Vengeance. Pass the turn. The more games we play with this deck, the more I think that Burning Vengeance uh, is just worse than Seismic Assault. I like the spice, and it's one of the things that makes this deck unique, is Burning Vengeance. But, as far as winning games, it's kind of been a, a repeated theme that we've run into that our Burning Vengeance is not doing a... Uh, oh no. Oh my god. Burning Tree. That's mana. Oh god. Oh god. Well... Okay, sure. Like, if that was if that was a, a seismic assault, we could have just killed both of the creatures and we probably would have won. 
uh, or at least have been favored. But since it was Burning Vengeance, oh boy. Discard, discard. Plain Windswept Eve, yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to think that maybe that's the problem with this deck. As much as I love Burning Vengeance and want it to be awesome, <laughs> in a huge percentage of games, we uh, we end up coming away thinking, man, if that Burning Vengeance was just a Seismic Assault, we probably would have won. Or at least had a better chance of it. Goblin Guide. Because, like, remember, these creatures would have been dead. We would still be at 18. And yeah, and now we're just dead. Huh. Well, opponent gets in. Goblin Guides. Oh, no. Now our Goblin Guides are giving us <laughs> Burning Vengeance. Uh, yeah, that does it. All right. Well, ha, 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 ha. All right, fair enough. Well, we got a win out of it. We won a game. That's more than some matches. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are playing some modern lands, and uh, we'll give this a we'll give this a go. Let's keep. We have potential turn two blood moon, which can be pretty good against some decks and we got a molten vortex to go with it and we're gonna have our forest for looming shambling vent all right well raging ravine go hoping for no discard no discard in this blood moon should be good opponent oh boy no land freebie Ah, planes planes and thalia hmm that does change things a bit well, play Windswept Teeth, crack Windswept, grab a Forest, play Molten Vortex, pass the turn. So let's see what our opponent does here. We can just, okay, Leonin Arbiter, opponent, getting in with Thalia, sure, down to 17, passes. All right, so let's Exile Spirit Guide, discard Ghost Quarter, kill Thalia, untap play a mountain, play blood moon, pass the turn. I mean, now we're a loam away. We just need a loam or like faithless suitings are good. Any way to just keep drawing lands. Ponet, Arbiter. Yeah, it's in. Yeah, down to 15. Eldrazi Temple, more Arbiters. Ponent passes. Hmm. Um, I guess we just pass and leave up our lands for killing things. Probably not going to see too many Eldrazi. Ponet. Attacks, well, Molten Vortex Arbiter, discard a land. Molten Vortex Arbiter, discard a land. Whoo, we need a loam. We need a loam. Opponent passes. Eh, all right, run out Burning Vengeance. Pass the turn. Opponent, Blade Splicer. <sighs> okay, opponent passes. Loam, card draw, Faithless Looting, any of that stuff. Mountain. Hmm, Restoration Angel. Do we need to kill Blade Splicer now? Can we kill the Golem? Yeah, let's just kill Blade Splicer. If our opponent manages to flicker or blink this, we're going to have a hard time catching back up. Pass the turn. We're a loam away from pretty much just sealing this game. Opponent gets in with the Golem. Yup. Down to 12. Come on, deck. Flame of Keld. Hmm. Well, play the Mountain. Play Flame of Keld. Hope for no Restoration Angel here. Pass the turn. Ooh. Okay, opponent paths the Golem to get a Plains. Interesting. What do they need double white for? Silver. Ooh, Silver Blade Paladin. Uh, well, land. We really would like a land to kill this. We gotta... I mean, we get three draws. Burning Vengeance. Two more. Hmm. Well, okay. I guess step one is discard the land, kill Silverblade Paladin, play Burning Vengeance Part 2, pass the turn. We have a pile of Jakey enchantments. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Found it. Untaps. Silverblade Part 2. Oh, this is a big turn. We need a. Well, I guess Flame. Okay, Flame Jab still gets rid of it. Hmm. So. How much damage is this? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, flame jab, paladin for three, and then yeah, I mean we gotta do it. Discard the. There's just too much damage with the third lore counter. I mean this is one mana eleven damage. 
<laughs> we can't pass that up to just hit our opponent for that much. It's tempting to keep the land to keep killing creatures, but... Opponent. Vile. Okay. Come on, deck. Well, okay. I guess we just try to close out the game. Let's just flame jab. Double trigger burning vengeance. This means we're a land away. A land wins the game. Opponent. Untaps. Vile. Take it up. Come on. Give us that land. Give us that land. That's all we need. That's all we need. Opponent. Plays a land. Land? Loam. That works. Loam counts as land. Well, get back the lands. Flame jab. Discard a land. Double trigger. And that's our Burning Vengeance is really coming through. Things are going to be a little sketchier in game three, or game two. Because I'm expecting our opponent to bring in a lot of, a lot of graveyard disruption. So cards that are good, Nature's Claim. That's our big one. Blood Moon is interesting. Ancient Grudge might be okay, too. Blood Moon does shut down their Eldrazi. And we're going to be playing a lot of Artifact Hate anyway. I think we're going to bring in more Blood Moons. Let's, let's go down Rituals. Let's go down a couple Spirit Guides. Go up the Blood Moons. Yeah, let's go up the Grudges, too. Let's, let's just take out all the Rituals. Bring in all the artifact and enchantment hate and all the blood moons. Worst case, like, even if we're not janking our opponent out of the game with our blood moons, at least we're cutting them off of Eldrazi mana. Yeah, all right. This is fine. Shambling vent for our opponent. Yeah, Raging Ravine, go. Ghost Quata. And Thalia. Opponent passes. I'll uh, play Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. Grab a mountain. Flame Jab, Thalia. Pass the turn. Hopefully we don't get Arbitered. That would be a little painful. Ghost Quartered. Ugh. Okay. Well, we are getting Ghost Quartered. Cannot search. Yup. Opponent passes. I'll uh, play the forest. Pass the turn. That's going to slow us down a ton. Caves of Koilos. Oh, God. That's not good. Well, now we're probably just dead. Because our fetch lands are all offline as well. That This is the nightmare scenario. We had the Blood Moons to cover it, but our opponent had too many Arbiters. Yeah, what did Foothills go? Well, we kind of janked our opponent out a bit in game one. So I guess it's fitting that we're getting janked out in return i'm not sure it's possible we get back into this game honestly with with all of our fetch lands cut off opponent passes yeah um yeah all right because we don't really have lightning bolts or anything so we just have to naturally draw four lands to crack a wooded foothills not likely not likely to work do we go too far maybe we go down the ancient grudges Go back up the Simeon Spirit Guides. I still do like... I mean, the Blood Moons also shut down the... The Ghost Quarters? And let's go three Blood Moons. Three Burning Vengeance. Try it like that. Alright. This is it. This is it. This is it. Can we pick up the win? Ugh. You know what? Maybe this is fine. Yeah, we're going to keep this. Seismic Assault seems really good against our opponent's deck. We're on the play. So in theory, we can just... I mean, hopefully we draw something, but... Turn 3 Seismic Assault... Kind of ends up being close to a Wrath. Crack this. Grab a Stomping Grounds. Tapped. Well, looting's good. Let's looting. Hmm... Discard Detection Tower. Do we want this Nature's Claim? I think we can discard Nature's Claim for now. Discard Nature's Claim. Play Raging Ravine. Pass the turn. Opponent. Do they have a Thalia? Oh, dear! Okay. Well, we were really counting on that Seismic Assault. Tide Hollow Sculler. 
Opponent passes. Alright. Well, I guess we will settle for Blood Mooning. Pass the turn. That should still be pretty good. Well, or our opponent has a Plains. Oh, and a Rest in Peace. Okay. <laughs> opponent gets in. Yup. Down to 17. We have answers for this. We also have a lot of dead draws now that there's a rest in peace. Uh, Alright, play Simeon Spirit Guide. Pass the turn. I think now we stop playing lands. Caves. I mean, Spirit Guide does stop our opponent from attacking us. No attacks. Opponent passes. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Planes number two. Passes. Well, play Burning Vengeance. It's not good at the moment, but it could get good in the future. That's another downside to the Burning Vengeance plan compared to just playing more Seismic Assaults is... Alright, they're going to path our Spirit Guide. I'll grab a mountain. Is the Burning Vengeance plan gets hurt more by Graveyard Hate than Seismic Assault plan. Gets in. Down to 15. And... Passes. Alright. More lands. Pass the turn. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Not like this. Opponent untaps. Ether Vial. Well, that'll eventually let our opponent do things. Boy, we could use this Seismic Assault. Or a second one. Alright. Sad Faithless Looting. Oh, that's the Brutalist. Um. Discard Land. Discard a Loam. Pass the turn. Ugh. Well, getting wrecked by Rest in Peace is what we sign up for. Opponent. Untaps. Although, I think if there's one takeaway from our league as far as being competitive and spiky pretty sure seismic assault gotta be better than burning vengeance we've done some cool burning vengeance stuff but we also get wrecked a lot well okay try again looting discard a land discard a land nature's claim rest in peace Flame jab our opponent. Flame jab our opponent. Kill the Tide Hollow. Get back size, make us all. Pass the turn. Alright, no more graveyard hate. Just the one rest in peace. Please, no more. <laughs> no more. No more. We found our way out of it. We burned through a lot of good cards to do it, though. Opponent. Passing. Land. Okay. So now we get to loan back windswept teeth. Play seismic assault. Pass the turn. Alright. We might have taken control. Opponent. Yup. Vial. Up to three. Displacer. Sure. Vials in. Kemball. All right. Well, let's shoot Kemball. Shoot Kemball. Untap. Dredge loam. Loam back three lands. Flame jab displacer. And Burning Vengeance. Pass the turn. We deal more damage by just Flame Jabbing, but since we have Seismic Assault out, it seems pretty worth it to just leave up activations so nothing weird happens. Land for our opponent. If they draw another Rest in Peace, the game suddenly gets very interesting. Opponent passes. Well, Dredge Loam. 
opponent vials in Kemble. Well, all right. Um, let's flame jab. Uh, let's do it safe. Discard a land, hit Kemble. Discard a land, hit Kemble. Loam back three lands. Pass the dirt. I mean, unless our opponent draws graveyard hate, this will get there. Like, sooner or later, this will win us the game. Opponent. Vile, staying on three. Temple. Only two cards in hand. All right. So, untap. Loam. Loam back some lands. And now we have enough that we can start the flame jab combo. Flame jab, discard a land, burning vengeance. So, we just have infinite... Well, not infinite, but basically infinite lava spikes. As much as our mana and lands can support. Hit our opponent. And now we can just hold three lands in hand as a as a safety valve in case our opponent... I don't know what they could have, but just in case. Down to 13. If we get our opponent low enough too, then graveyard hate's no longer a concern because, I mean, we will just draw lands eventually. I think this is a turn. Pona needs rest in peace this turn. Or something equally impactful. Pona. Scoops it up. Okay. So, I mean, we got the win. It was sort of a weird, a weird mashup of stuff going on. But, well, dang it. We'll take the win. We'll take the win. We'll take the win. Uh, okay. Um, The deck, it's interesting. We can, we'll talk about it in the wrap up, sweet. So what do we learn this week about modern lands? And overall record a little bit weird. So our league, we finish technically with a two, three, but we played and lost to burn twice in a row. So I dropped the burn match, added in another match, which happened to be a win. So even though we were two and three, the video showed a three and two. So eh, roughly 50 ish percent was our record with the deck. And I think we got to see the good and the bad of modern lands across our game. So the good is we can absolutely eat creature decks for breakfast, just against like death and taxes. We saw a great example of this where we could just shoot down Thalia's and Leon and Arbiters and random creatures like that against those style of decks. We're insane. We could just shoot down those creatures all day and the deck is incredibly powerful. So that's the good news. The other good news is Blood Moon is still Blood Moon. Some of our wins were we're definitely just slamming early blood moons and not allowing our opponent to play magic. And while some people don't like the jank about blood moon plan, in all honesty, in this deck, I think it's kind of a necessary evil because the biggest downside of this deck, and I guess there's two of them, but downside number one is the deck is pretty slow. Like, because we're playing Burning Vengeances and Flame Jabs and all this stuff, even with the Rituals, uh, it takes a while for our deck to get going. Like, in theory, we're playing a Burning Vengeance. Let's say we even have a Ritual and we play it on turn two. Maybe by turn three, we're flashing back a Faithless Looting to shock something, and then maybe after that, we're kind of repeatedly shocking things, but we're not gonna win quick and especially in a modern format that is throwing hollow ones on the battlefield or 10 power of dredge creatures on the battlefield on turn two we're going infinite with carrot clan ironworks or whatever uh, the deck is a, just a little slower than the typical speed of the modern format so that's kind of issue number one blood moon to jank about does help the rituals kind of do help although the rituals are a bit awkward because we need lands for most of our cards to work uh, using a bunch of rituals to cast a seismic assault on turn one or something uh we're still limited by the number of lands we have to throw at things so there's some inconsistency there so that's number one deck is just a tiny bit slow and a little bit heavily reliant on blood moon to kind of keep things in check problem number two and this is the big one the doozy is graveyard hate is absolutely brutal uh surgical extraction everyone's playing it dredge is a big deck kci is a big deck people are very very prepared for graveyards and if we can't have our graveyard going our deck 
is really, really in a bad spot because of Burning Vengeance, because of Flame Jab, because of the life from the Lone Plan. Like, our entire deck really needs a graveyard to function. In theory, we can just draw a whole bunch of lands and shock people repeatedly with Seismic Assault, but really, if the graveyard's locked down, life is very, very bad, and everyone in Modern is prepared for Graveyard Hate, and I feel like this build, uh, the other, like, third downside, and I guess this is more just feedback for this deck than a real downside is, uh, as much as it pains me to say this, because Burning Vengeance is so sweet, I'm not sold on Burning Vengeance over Seismic Assault. We had at least a couple of games where we would get down our Burning Vengeance, we would have a bunch of lands in hand, maybe even have Life from the Loam to keep getting back lands, but we wouldn't be able to stop our opponent's board because Burning Vengeance is uh, its great when we're comboing. It's great when we Flame Jab and we have the Flame of Cald and we pull off like the Dream Scenario Magic Christmas land, but in a normal scenario where we're trying not to die to our opponent's board, Seismic Assault is just so much better because we can use it right away. With Seismic Assault, it doesn't matter if we're tapped out. We play Seismic Assault. If we got lands in hand, we can throw them at creatures and stabilize and stay alive. With Burning Vengeance, we're kind of like casting it and then hoping that we live long enough to untap and then hoping that we have Flame Jab or I guess Faithless Looting is kind of a combo, but it takes a lot more to go right. So while I really like that this deck is trying to make Burning Vengeance work. I also really feel like the deck would probably be better if we were more all in on Seismic Assaults and more all in on Molten Vortexes and playing Burning Vengeance either not at all or as a backup plan. Maybe it's a one of because it is cool and we can do some neat things with it when we're kind of trying to close out the game with huge chunks of damage. So I don't know. I think maybe the Burning Vengeance plan is just a bridge too far. And I should also say that our one of our losses to burn really showed the power of the deck where we 21 to our opponent and they ended up surviving at one life but we could have actually 22 to our opponent and one if we played differently so the deck does offer potential for just absurd amounts of damage like it can do really cool really explosive things but it is hated out by probably the number one sideboard card in modern right now we're sideboard card archetype which is graveyard hate so we're picking up on all this kind of instant Incidental hate that people aren't playing to beat modern lands or to beat burning vengeance or whatever or life from the loam they're playing it to beat dredge or kci or storm or all the tier decks that are using their graveyard so we're kind of like accidentally getting all these really good hate cards brought in against us so i feel like it's a deck that is somewhat competitive it's really cool if you want your i won with burning vengeance merit badge it's a pretty good option you can certainly win with it we were somewhere in the 50 50 range overall with our win percentage which is not horrible for a very off the wall deck in the modern format uh, but i feel like it could be improved by going more on seismic assault yes it's going to make the deck slightly less spicy i guess to be a seismic assault deck rather than a burning vengeance deck but i think it would make the deck better to go more in on Seismic Assaults and less in on Burning Vengeance. So overall, the deck was fun. It was reasonably competitive. You definitely can win with it. It does scoop... Well, not quite scoop, but it is very much hurt by some very popular sideboard cards, graveyard hate cards, and it is pretty matchup dependent. Like, against fast combo, or combo, spell-based combo in general, we're really going to struggle. Our deck is just not fast enough to consistently beat Storms and other spell-based combo decks. On the other hand, when we run into the creature decks, we can just kind of throw burn spells at our opponent's creatures all day long and try to keep the board in check that way. So, uh, I don't know. The deck is fun. I think it's kind of in the middle as far as level of competition. I would be surprised if it was winning GPs or anything like that, but it's certainly playable, and with some tuning, especially some of the upgrades we were talking about, it could be even better. So, anyway, that's been Modern Lands. Thanks again to Marcos for sending it in, and thanks again to all you for watching. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.